peekaboo. Greetings from Bangkok. My accommodation is located in a neighborhood filled with street food. I tried a handful of the Thai street food here. A lot of it is very spicy. And today we're trying things I haven't had before. These are the two items that I did have, but the other ones I'm a virgin to. And before I forget, can you believe all this food? Altogether, it cost me 165 baht. That's less than $5 USD. When I get this much food in the States, Oh, it's easily, it will cost at least 20 bucks USD. Where do we begin? I mean, we have, uh, I have no idea. This looks like bamboo shoots. Uh, that looks spicy. This one, we have clams. What's this? Uh, some kind of meat. I don't have many plates and I have a very small table. This small table, I'll show you how it looks like at the end, but it looks like a butt, like two butt cheeks. Okay, I'm so curious about these dumplings. I love how swirly they are. Take a look at that beauty. The folds and those flakes. It came with um, these little, I guess these are chili peppers, these small little babies. So cute. It's probably doesn't taste cute. It's probably very spicy. Hmm. I was expecting that to be meaty but there's a it's sweet and there's like it tastes like nuts in the inside hmm hmm and the street food vendor gave me a bunch of lettuce with it I'm a little scared to eat raw food because mm, that could increase your chances of getting food poisoning I would love to eat that and eat more veggies but I'll be on the safe side. This sort of reminds me of dim sum. Oh, I, I admire these folds. It is so beautiful. Actually, um, here, I'll give you a closer look at it after this one bite. Mm. Look at those beauties. See, the outside of it doesn't taste sweet at all. The outside reminds me of, um, it tastes like dok, the outside of this. Dumplings? tend to be bigger than this so when I eat this one it makes me feel cute because it's so small but if you eat a dumpling when you're on a date you might be scared that juices fall out it creates this mess but these are bite size very ladylike I don't know the name of this if you guys know please do let me know in the comment section shall we try one of these baby chilies I know it's raw, but a little bite won't hurt, right? Oh, it's not as spicy as I thought it'd be. Maybe I got lucky. Maybe it was just that. It was a dud. <gasps> that was the first one was a dud. It's the second one. It's like these guys are so small. I compare this to um, who? You know, David and Goliath, right? Who thought that David would hit the giant with a rock? Just because it's small, do not underestimate the power. I'm breaking out of sweat. Woo! Woo, that's spicy. I can't stop eating this. It's so cute. They gave me like a dozen of these small guys. What's next? Let's eat something that seems bland. This one looks like a pancake. It looks fried. Um, it reminds me of uh, Don. You know, Korean pancakes, savory Korean pancakes. And these look a little bit more um, like webby. Let's give this a shot. No, it looks like there's eggs in it. Mmm. It tastes like an omelet. Mmm. On the outside, it looks super fried. And inside, it's still like a light yellow, much like a scrambled egg.
you could think of it as a um, oily omelet that's what it tastes like That definitely will calm your spicy mouth down. Oh, let's have another one of these cuties. Oh. The outside of these are a bit translucent. And because it's like, it looks flowy, it reminds me of like a betta fish uh, fins. Should we open one of these guys up? The thing is, if I eat, open one of these guys up, then where do I put it? I mean, these are like barely hanging at the edge of the table. Yeah, maybe I'll take these lettuce off. Yeah, put them in a bowl. This one has clams in it. I'm not the biggest fan of seafood, but I love trying different kinds of dishes out. Now, what I notice is um, a lot of the street foods, Thai street food vendors, they wrap their food to go like this. They put a lot of air in it, like a balloon, and they somehow tie it cleverly at the top so it's tight. So if you were to flip it around, the juices don't come out. Somehow, I don't know how they do that. But they wrap it around like four or five times. And if you look at the top of this, they folded it twice so thinly and perfectly. Trying to fold it so the soupy stuff inside doesn't splatter over me. Okay, let me guys, let me give you guys a close look. So you can see we got some clams. Um, it looks like, I guess that's scallion. And then, I wish I had a bigger bowl to put this in. And there's like a red sauce on the bottom. <gasps> oh my god, it's spilled. I'm gonna have to do a, a thorough cleanup after this. Oh, I really want one of these cuties again. So, let's try this clam. Peels right off. Mmm, that's sauce. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a curry, but I don't. I don't have any rice right now. I only have um, taro bread. So, they say when you get food poisoning, it's good to eat bread. Oh, there's a fly in here. I am not lonely, so you don't need to be here. Uh, when you get food poisoning, they say it's good to eat bread and like, was it banana and applesauce? So I bought this bread from the uh, 7-Eleven and it's taro, taro flavored. I'm gonna dip this into the uh, curry. I'm just gonna call it the clam curry. The bread itself is a little sweet. Actually, let me get a spoon and have the curry as is by itself. It's like, it tastes like dessert. Ooh, is there rice in here? Maybe I could use that rice for the curry. It's a little spicy. It's like a, um, it's a dull type of spicy. Some spicy is very sharp. This one's a dull spicy. Let's try, what should we try next? Actually, let's open this guy up. Super cool. Uh, it's so artistic how they folded the leaves and then they wrapped, um, what is this? They wrapped this, is it bamboo? Bamboo wire? Oh, anyway, it's like twisted around and then it comes off 
It's so cool. Like this. And then the other side is the same. It's been twisted around. So it looks like whatever's in here has been steamed. And then there's two parcels. So cute. So cute. Because it has an indentation, it kind of looks like a snowman. Uh, it looks like chocolate bar, actually. So, okay. Now, let's open it up. I have to open it. And what's inside? What is that? That does not look like rice. Oh, actually it is rice. Is it? No? Yeah, it is rice. It's some sort of sticky rice. And are those beans? Are, what? Is it a zuki bean or something like that? Yeah, it's a bean. Mmm. It's a good bean. It's a, it's a sweet bean. Oh, maybe this is more like a dessert thing. Ooh. There's something in the inside. Mmm. This is a very sophisticated type of sweet. You know, there's like certain types of sweet that taste cheap. This one is like a graceful sweet. I mean, I might have bought this on the street. For um, two of these, I bought together for, I think it was 25 baht. But it tastes more expensive than that for sure. I could imagine a cafe selling this. Mmm. That's really good. So far, taste wise, this guy wins. But the cute award goes to the dumplings. This one is um, sweeter than the dumpling. But I still want to put this in like a dessert, dessert category. Mm. It puts a smile on my face. I mean, flavor wise, it's a little bit more on the bland side. See, the inside is sweeter than the outside. The outside of this calms the sweetness down. Something about it just makes you smile. Alright, that's that. Now we freed up some room for the next thing. Mm. This one looks spicy. So let's go with this instead. I don't know what it is. Now, like I said, if you guys know what I'm eating, please let me know. Okay? Because, um, some of the Thai vendors, they speak minimal English. So when I ask them something, they don't know what I'm saying. Like, you know, the thing is, ideally I wanted to learn some Thai before coming to Bangkok. But I was so busy in Korea filming travel vlogs. So then I was like, okay, by the time I get to Bangkok, I will, I will learn Thai when I'm here. But it helps to know someone who could teach you. All right, so this is some sort of meat. Um, and let me fold it a little bit more down. My fingers are getting so oily right now. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a bone. Uh, it has, oh, it looks spicy. I see uh, like a chili seeds. Uh, and then I see some chili um skin well i'm prepared mentally i'm prepared how do i eat this there's a oh oh it's fish mm. 
That's fish. Mm, it's actually not that spicy. Oh. Oh. I bit into a bunch of bones. See that? Oh god. Too many bones. Mm. I bit into that too bravely. Mm, if you've been keeping up with my social media and been watching my, all my videos on this channel and my other channel, um, by now you probably know that I fell down in a cave at Jejudo two weeks ago. And after right after it happened, I felt fine. But by the time I got to Bangkok, if I walk all day, my knee, w my left knee, will get very swollen. I don't know. I don't know what's up, but I'm gonna have to go check it out, get it, get it checked. I mean, it's one of those moments where it's like, should I just wait and see if it gets better by itself? Should I let my body heal itself? Uh, the other part is like, well, it's been two weeks, so better not to wait too long. Uh, fix it before it gets worse, right? Oh man, sometimes it's really hard to tell like what you should do. But I guess like sometimes you just gotta do what seems to be the safest option, the least, um, the one, like take the route that causes the least liability. And when I was young, I used to love car cutting cardboard and paper with exacto knife and there's this one time in high school i sliced off a big chunk off my finger and i was like it started bleeding like crazy and i told my mom like oh, we have to go to the er we have to go to the er you know and by the time i went to the hospital i was still bleeding right there's a lot of people waiting in line for that er it was gonna be like one hour to see the doctor and i was like this is not really emergency then this is not an emergency line. So I just went back home and uh, I was like, forget it. <laughs> I guess I'll be fine. But that's the thing, like, if that finger got infected, then it would have been better to just wait in line for th in that ER, right? Life is chance. And it's hard to predict everything. Because also, if you play it too safe, oh man, there's a lot of bone in that. If you play life too safe, sometimes you won't learn as much. You have to take risks every once in a while. Mm. Of course, it's not good to take too many risks either. Depending on who you are. But yeah, like, if you always take the safe route, you're gonna be in the comfort zone. Because to you, being safe might mean staying at home all day. But that might mean you won't get to meet other people, right? Okay, this fish, um, it looks more glorious than it tastes. I wish the meat was um, much more smooth. I respect the sauce. I respect the sauce. It is a beautiful, beautiful. The color, you know, the glisten. The texture is beautiful. Oh, every 15 to 16 minutes, my camera stops filming. And then I have to push a button again to record the next part. So I had to wash my hands, which was very oily, but now they're clean again. And then let's resume eating. Right, um, let's try this chicken. Yeah, and then we'll go on to this guy. Um, this guy, I don't have a plate for it. I guess this one doesn't really need a plate, but now it's like pretty oily on the bottom. 
Did you hear that? That was a dog, dog uh, squealing. This neighborhood has a lot of stray dogs. And the thing is, I didn't get my rabies shot because I did not expect, because the last time I came to Bangkok, I didn't see any stray dogs. Uh, but this time I'm seeing stray dogs every day and there's poop on the ground. In the first two days I was in Bangkok, I stepped on dog poop and I was like, oh my goodness. I'm so glad I wasn't wearing flip flops when that happened. Oh, this one's kind of challenging to open. All right, oh, I think this one will be good to eat with rice. I think these are bamboo shoots and there's some, it uh, looks like beef and um, basil. All right, so let's try this bamboo shoot. Unsurprisingly, it is spicy But there's something very fragrant about it Oh, my ear is itchy This smell, it's an acquired smell Meaning Not everyone's gonna like it It smells a little floral And it tastes a little floral Not my favorite flavor of all that I've eaten so far But it's not too terrible either Okay, so fried chicken Where if you go in the world, there's always fried chicken We have fried chicken in the US My camera doesn't want to focus on the chicken Anyhow like uh, yeah, in the US we have fried chicken and then in uh, Korea we have fried chicken and then in Thailand we have fried chicken Mmm Mmm It does not taste like any fried chicken I've ever had in my life It's just me or there's some like a, something sweet about it On the outside this is a little bit crunchy It might have been crunchier if I had it straight away right after the guy made it Ooh I me mean inside it's juicy Came with the sauce. The way they wrap their food to go, it's like the way you wrap, like when you buy fish, pet fish at the aquarium, or aquarium pet store, they put the fish in these kind of container, right? Yeah, they wrap it like that. All right. See, my fingers are very oily right now, so. It's a little bit challenging to take these off Alright I'm predicting Oh my battery is running out Oh come on, I gotta wash my hand, change the battery and then Resume And then hopefully the fly doesn't have a bite of my food Alright, I changed to new battery Let's continue eating the chicken Excuse me um, <clears throat> I predict this sauce is gonna be Sweet Potentially a little sour. Last time I came to Bangkok, I got food poisoning right away. This time I've been pretty lucky, but today I'm eating a lot of different kinds of street food, so we'll see how I feel tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, something about street food, it's so DIY. I know all food is made by someone, but because they make it on the spot on the street. I don't know, I feel some sort of um, magic about that It's like they had their limits They didn't have a full kitchen in front of them They have this little cart and they cook what they can out of it Alright, now this area 
It's just good. I try not to eat too much skin. Uh, well, uh, it's not known to be the healthiest thing, so. Alright. Oh, we didn't try this yet. This is chicken. Oh, it's very rubbery right now. Oh my god, I can't even bite into it. It tastes kind of like beef jerky, aka sweet. Not as sweet as this curry, clam curry. Mmm. Mm, it reminds me a little bit of a teriyaki sauce. Hmm. And this one, it looks like a samgyeopsal. It looks quite fatty. And look, it looks like a foot. It, that, doesn't that look kind of like a boot? Right here? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the boot fell off. That's as sweet as that. What is this? I, I want to say it's like chicken. Is it chicken heart or something? Oh, the AC just kicked in. I feel so good right now. You know, Bangkok is typically pretty hot, but um, because of the rain, it's been bearable. I still need to research on this, but. Do they not do smog checks on the cars here, the vehicles here? Because some of the cars, like, when they're driving a bunch of gray, um, gray, what is it, gray smoke comes out of their car. When it comes to cuteness, none of these guys beat the dumpling we had in the beginning. I really enjoyed this rice, bean, sweet baby. And I love the artistry behind this, how it's folded neatly, beautiful, beautiful handwork. And yet, the flavor, it seems so familiar. Mmm. In Korea, we have something like this. Oh, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But it's with, made with rice. And the color is a little bit more um, like a, a light brown. They're like in the same family, but it's not exactly the same. They're like um, cousins. That's delightful. Very delightful. Mm. Okay, the number one thing I had today, this guy. Okay, we, let's not even talk about the cute dumplings. That belongs in a different category. Flavor-wise, it's pretty bland, but once again, that one belongs in the cute category. Flavor-wise, number two is the um, omelet. Number three, I want to give it to that fish, but uh, I wish it was the texture was a little bit more smooth. And this one was a little too sweet for me. But this chicken was actually really good. Even though in the beginning it's kind of hard to take off the shit. Beauty wise, beauty award goes to that fish. I love how there's like this hole in the middle. All right, so how about we put some, um, this floral bamboo shoots on the taro bread. Mm. 
you know, usually in my mukbang, I talk about other things besides food. But today, we had so many variety of food. I just couldn't help myself but focus on food. Oh man, my hair is not the way I want it to be. You know, I want my hair to like bend like this. But I tried. I tried doing it with the dryer before I shot this mukbang. Stubborn hair. When I filmed this, it's Saturday night. Some people are gonna party like cray cray in Bangkok. I have a friend who's gonna visit me and we're gonna go on adventures together. So we'll go party then. Yeah, but for now, I really want to um, nurse my knee. I cannot not finish this. I must eat this. This is something I wanna learn how to make on my own. And you know that I don't really eat white rice, generally. When I feel mukbang, I do. Uh, here's the thing, like, if I didn't make YouTube videos, uh, because, like, YouTubers, they have, uh, we have, like, a on-camera face and then off-camera face. It's not to say that we're fake, you know, when we're filming. It's just that a different side may come out, you know? Some people, we get much more energetic and excited when we're about to film. And, you know, like, as for me, I love documenting things and sharing with other people. So the thought of that excites me. Because um, off camera, like when I'm with friends, I, I'm very excited too and like energetic. But when I'm by myself all alone, uh, I like to read, I like to write, I like to do quiet things. It's so pleasant. If this guy was a human being, I'd want to be friends with them. I would definitely be want to be best friends with them. Actually, there's a best friend of mine. If she were a food, I think this is what she tastes like. This is like this sophisticated, graceful sweetness. You know, surprisingly, I'm not like super full. All right, here's our fourth one. It looks kind of like bamboo. Like a bamboo stick. Hope you guys enjoy eating Thai street food with me. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat for the freshest updates and my latest adventures. Miss Mina O. See you on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Bye bye. Oh yeah, so this is my table that looks like a butt. It's a nice square piece of tofu. Ooh! It reminds me of a pug face. Pokemon are like ghosts. You know, only people with the app, the Pokemon Go app, can see them. 